from PRX. All right, hey everybody, this is Scoots here. This is an all intro episode. So this is intro after intro after intro. A lot of people love these so much on Sleep With Me Plus. You get a feed, like a podcast, basically, with just all intro episodes and uh, all night compilation episodes. But even when we put these out in the ad-supported feed, they're hugely popular. So I don't know if any of your favorite intros are in here. Let me know. Uh, but hopefully you, you fall asleep during the second, third, fourth, and fifth intro. Uh, but see how it goes. If you're new to Sleep With Me, this is episode's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for listening. And uh, here's Scoots uh, coming up. Uh, I'm not sure if I was just after Scoots or before Scoots, but take it away, Scoots. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary. It's time for the podcaster that if he wasn't making a sleep podcast that went off topic and acted silly to keep you company and as you fall asleep, I'd probably be, if I had a different voice, I'd be in a group called the Monotones. Uh, but for now, I just bring the monotone because uh, I'm here and you might be wondering, who, what's this person babbling about? And I'd say, great, great word. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> That was an accident, but true. That's, I mean, that's about it. In a mouthful. That was a mouthful, too. It's time for Sleep With Me podcast to put you to sleep. All right, but Scoot's here, and this is where I talk about, like, supporting the show. So this is really only for regular listeners. If you count on Sleep With Me or you use Sleep With Me on a regular basis, you're a long-term listener. Like, does Sleep With Me do anything unique for you, right? Is it a part of your life and it's a unique way? Like, when you just discovered the show or it started helping you, you're like, wow, I had no idea this existed, but I was looking for it. And then does it provide something for you? Is it unique and does it provide something? Does it do anything for you? Like, does it help you fall asleep or take your mind off of stuff so you could fall asleep? Or does it keep you company? Does it distract you during the day? So is it unique or somewhat unique? And does it do anything for you? If the answers are the yes to the both of those, like how much is that, does that, is that worth anything to you? How much is, are those things, the unique part and whatever it does for you, worth to you? But the other question is like, if sleep with me went away, like what would you be willing, like would that change what it's worth to you? Would it be, would it change the value proposition? Uh, it's it, well, but if, to get it back, oh yeah, I'd pay, I'd pay 50 bucks a month and you don't even have a tier at that level. So just think about that. But if, 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 if any of that resonates with you, don't wait, uh, uh, we really are in a position now where for at least a, a time I'm going to have to kind of uh, really work hard to get more people involved in supporting the show. We have the listeners. It's just uh, getting the attention of enough listeners, a small percentage of people, um, uh, but people that are said, oh, OK, I'll do it now. You just go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus and sign up, uh, support the show. Even if you're not sure, sign up for they're all, all the trials are seven days and then you could change your mind. But at least then you've done something. You said, yes, it's unique. Yes, it really means something to me. Yes, it does something for me. And no, I don't want to wait. Like, uh, I don't want it to go away. Um, so thanks. Uh, think about that. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. Support for Sleep With Me comes from Odoo. If you feel like you're wasting your time and money with your current business software or just want to know what you could be missing, then you need to join the millions of other users who switch to Odoo. Odoo is the affordable all-in-one management software with a library of fully integrated business applications that help you get more done in less time for a fraction of the price. To learn more, visit odoo.com slash with me. That's O-D-O-O dot com slash with me. Odoo, modern management made simple. All right, everybody, it's time to talk about tonight's sponsor, Helix Sleep. Do yourself a favor, go to helixsleep.com slash sleep and take that Helix quiz. That was about four years ago that I took the Helix quiz, got matched with the Helix Dusk Lux, which is a perfect mattress for me and the way I sleep. Because the thing is, the Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux collection, the newly released Helix Elite collection. They have a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, even a mattress made just for kids. And how would you know which 
which one is going to fit you and your body. You just take that Helix sleep quiz. You find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. That personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. And Helix knows there's no better way to test out a new mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial and a 10- to 15-year warranty to try out your new mattress. And here's the thing. Everybody's unique. Everybody sleeps differently. And that is why Helix has uh, several different mattress models to choose from, each designed for specific sleep positions and feel preferences. You know, if you're like me, I sleep on my stomach and my side. I sleep a hot, so I want to stay cool. And that's what happened. I took the quiz. I got matched with the Helix Dusk Lux. I love my Helix Dusk Lux. And the way I know is every time I leave town, I cannot wait to get back. That first night back in my Helix Dusk Lux, it's like I'm in a state of sleep bliss. Not only is it the best mattress I've slept on, but set up is fast and easy. Helix mattresses are delivered in a box straight to your door for free. And Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash sleep and use the code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet. It won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. All right, everybody, it's time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone, the one part of the podcast where it does get loud uh, so we can keep the show going. So many people benefit from this ad-supported free version of the podcast, and the sponsors and the people that support the sponsors are what do that for everybody. And that's why I need your attention. Tonight, we're talking about Caitlin, and Caitlin got a Helix Midnight, took that Helix quiz, and supported Helix. So thank you, Caitlin. Thank you for letting me know know about it and uh, it is invaluable your support so if you support a sponsor you know take a few minutes go over to our website check them out there's a lot of sponsors with free trials and maybe there's something that you've been looking for try it out and then let me know about it let the sponsor know about it so i can say thank you because like for caitlin there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who are sleeping better this month because of caitlin so thank you caitlin and i'd love to say your name on the show right yeah you know you you? I'd love to see, what's your name? Oh boy, let me know. Thank you, Caitlin. All right, the second part of the Sleepy Support Zone is you getting the support you need right now. If you're having a tough time, there's resources, international resources you could connect with right now in the show notes and you're worth it. So use those resources, please. It's about being a part of positive change through our actions, learning more, taking action, not just saying Black Lives Matter, not just saying stop AAPI I hate, not just saying support Ukraine and so many other things you know, that, that we, we all have to choose. Hey, what am I going to support? Let me learn more first. You could do that in the show notes or you could see what sleep with me, what I'm doing personally and what some members of part of our community are doing, but you could take other actions, you know, too. But right now, Sleep With Me supports the Midnight Mission in Los Angeles, supporting people experiencing homelessness, uh, the Trevor Project, all the life-affirming and life-saving work uh, the Trevor Project does and hand-in-hand hand, and all the work hand-in-hand hand does at building community uh, so it can be long-term peace and cooperation and love. So uh, those are three organizations that we support, but there's plenty of other ones out there too. I'd love to hear from you what you're supporting, what actions you're taking. All I want to do is empower you to be a part of positive change, you know, in in your world too. So thank you so much. Uh, Oh, Mystery Bart, uh, there's a lot of people who help out on this show. Who are they? Chris Posty Poster Song Sounds like an earful Wrote the theme song Carl W. The Lecture Also edits episodes Ashley Scotty, Jennifer, run, 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 run. Eric and the team let us down or on the website. I am the mystery bar. I do the lullabies, yeah. I do commissions at JonathanMan.net. I'll write a song for you. Any reason at all. You can tell me the story and I'll make it personal. You see the kindness shine straight on through when the listeners form their own Facebook group. Keith, Stacy, Sarah. Jennifer, these are your moderators. Get support, dear scooter on Patreon. Buy the merch and support the sponsors. You can find anything you want at sleepwithmepodcast.com. And we're so proud that we could dance. Rusty Biscuit, Lois, and a like banana. Leah does the transcript. Thanks, Mystery Bard. Don't forget, if you want to get those sleep phones, most comfortable way to listen to Sleep With Me, just go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sleep phones and use Sleep With Me at checkout. Thanks, everybody. And what do you say we slow it down and get on with the show? 
Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake. It could be things you're thinking, you know, things on your mind. Clearly, there's a lot of that, that you know, uh, thoughts. Uh, so, th- you know, past, present, or future. Uh, feelings, anything emotionally coming up for you. It could be related to thoughts. It could ju- They could just be there. You say, well, hello. Not, not the most opportu- opportune time to meet you, feelings, but uh, I could see you're here now. And then and that's where I come in and help. Or physical sensations, which is kind of the same thing. You say, oh, boy. Uh, it could be other stuff, uh, inside or outside, uh, you know, you or your, where you are or, where, you know, it, whatever it is that's keeping you awake, I'm here to take your mind off of that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm uh, swirling up a safe place. Oh, boy. You know, some people say that stone soup is the greatest gift, uh, uh, like uh, whatever traditional, what do you call it, folk, uh, folk stories have given us. Uh, it's the great, greatest thing that's ever been, you know, stirred in a cauldron before, other than the magical stuff, which, of course, you say, well, okay. But I'm, 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 I'm like you know, swirling up a safe place. Oh, boy. No, don't worry. There won't be any eyes and newts in this safe place unless you're a newt. And then, you know, your eyes will be closed. So there technically, ideally, won't be any. I mean, you could open your eyes. If you're a newt and you're listening, can you send me an email, please? Uh, that would be so cute watching you. Say, would you send your email by tail or... um with your posy poos, uh, or whatever you call them. Also, if you do, if you do, if you can send me an email, newts, just go to sleepingmepodcast.com, use the contact link, then you don't have to remember anything. Do, what do you think of that Geico? That, like, do you ever, do you, oh, yeah, another question. Do you watch television? Two, do you know what television is? Three, if you've ever watched TV, you're familiar with that gecko. Just wondering. Uh, also, what do you think of, ma- like, what's the deal with magic? Could you, like, is that something, like, on your, I don't know, do you have a dri- the equivalent of a driver's license where you could say, yeah, sure, happy to give my eye a newt uh, to, uh, you know, w- when the time comes, I volunteer my, you know, for those magical potions. But otherwise, you know, stay out of my business. I'm just here. I don't know. Are you like a salamander? Do you do you do you know I know almost know nothing about newts? I mean, I remember a famous movie character named Newt. Uh, probably more than one. Oh, Newt Scamander. I wasn't even think of that. I don't think that's how I say it. Is it is his name Newt Scamander? Because then it's like, did I ever talk? I mean, I know I've talked about Newt Scamander before. Commander Newt Scamander. One that thing. And then, it, like, it is almost like Salamander. Uh, and, he, like, he's into, into beings, you know. He, he, he takes care of beings. May, I may not be right about any of this. Also forgot what I was going to do. I just, dude, sorry, I went on a tangent there. Oh, it's going to create a safe place. Uh, yeah, that's what I got going in this cauldron here. Stirring it, oh, so gently. And, uh... Now I'm thinking of it. Now, like, my, my mind's full of other things I could go off topic about. Cauldron cast. Uh, the only podcast where I just stir a cauldron. Uh, but so, oh, so what I'm going to do is a safe place. I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders superfluous tangents so holy cow you see man do you need that many tangents i say probably i don't but i do uh lulling soothing tone creaky dulcet tones like i said the uh monotones would be my doo-wop group or acapella group 
Is it doo-wop and acapella, is that like a genre of acapella is doo-wop? I'm not kidding. This, I got a, I got a newt looking at me like, what do you, like, first of all, of course we watch TV when we're able to. You see, would you, well, I don't think I, I don't know what your bandwidth is. Cause I could, I mean, if I had a safe place, you could come on in and watch as much TV as you want. As long as you wear headphones. Because it's a safe place, right? So maybe there'd be a TV room for, uh, for Newt's, uh, of course. Uh, ideally, we could get Newt Scamander as like the uh, the host of the, t- in the Newt TV room. So, oh, so I'm going to send my voice across the deep dark net. Long, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders. You've already seen a few of them. So if you're new, you might already be more than a bit mixed up, which is my natural state of being. B- being... Uh, so let me give you a couple of pieces of information. One, if you're skeptical, doubtful, confused, slightly ad, you know, agitated, those are natural. If you're, this is your first or second or third time listening to the show, totally natural reaction. So a couple of things. One, give the show about two or three tries before you give up on it. I mean, you don't have to do that. You could give up on it right away. But almost all of my regular listeners... Uh, say it took two or three tries and then I became a regular listener, which I guess is, you know, kind of, uh, but give it a two, two or three tries. Most people are doubtful and confused and slightly like, uh, their hackles are slightly raised uh, because what other podcast does someone talk to a newt in the middle? Of, not just, you say, well, the newt, the newt, newt talk and talking newts, you talking to newts that's, uh, by, uh, uh, Adam and Scott, I think. That's one of my favorite ones. You talking to newts. Uh, it's a, it's a, t- t- a podcast with two comedians or an a, like a comedic, comedic actors talking to newts about, uh, I forget which band it is. T- t- some band that starts with two, but not you two, I don't think. Maybe it's we talking to newts or you talking to newts. I don't know, but it's a good show. Oh, what was I talking about, though? I was talking about talking to newts. Oh, boy. What was I talking about? If you're skeptical, okay, if you're skeptical, that's perfectly normal. Podcast doesn't work at everybody. But of course you'd be skeptical. There's someone talking about and talking to newts and then talking about podcasts where newts are talked to. In some sense, if you make a podcast uh, for newts, Four Newts by Newts would be another one. That's one of my favorite ones. But if you were making a podcast for Newts, uh, maybe that, okay, tonight, uh, totally, we're going, we're going to lean into this. We'll do some sort of newt, newt, pod, newt related podcast. So let me, th- th- let me just rest my brain there on that subject. So if you're new, just give this podcast a few tries. Ideally, consume it a little bit loosely. Because you could just kind of see uh, the podcast is a little bit best consumed out of focus uh, versus, uh, like, concentrating on it. So kind of see how that goes. Um, what else? Oh, so what else throws new listeners off? Oh, this is yeah, a podcast you don't need to listen to. You could just barely kind of listen, almost at a mumble. But you can listen. It's also... Well, it was a very early sleep podcast, and now there's, you know, a lot of different versions of it and corporations doing it and stuff. Uh, they, what, what they don't realize is this is not a podcast that puts you to sleep. It's a podcast that once they figure it out, I'll be in, you know, deep doo-doo, deep noo-doo, noo-doo. Uh, but uh, it, this isn't really a podcast that puts you to sleep. It's here to keep you company as you drift off. So... Uh, that's one reason why the shows are about an hour. And it's also, I want you to let you know, if you can't sleep or you need a break during the day, I'll be here to the very end of this episode. I don't even know what the episode's going to be other than about newts. So that's another thing I want you to know, uh, is if you can't sleep, I'll be here for you. But yeah, this is a podcast. I kind of keep you company, walk at your side. I'm your companion, your boar bud, your boar bay. You know, your boar bestie, your boar bruh, your boar sib, your boar cuz, 
Yeah, I'm here to keep you company as you fall asleep. Also, another thing that can throw off new listeners, regular listeners love this part, is the intro and the structure of the show. So I'll explain that to you. So the show starts off with a greeting. Then there's business, so about four or six minutes of business or something. That's how we're able to keep the podcast free and reminders about the business because that's how like it's here for you free twice a week. Uh, then there's an intro. The intro is not business related at all, other than the business, you know, nonsense. Uh, and the, the, so the intro, what, what was I saying? Um, so the intro is like 12 to 18 to 20 minutes of me trying to explain what the podcast is. You've already seen it in action. And then I just go off topic. Uh, and the, what I say to myself, every intro is, well, actually, there is a bit of self-talk that goes into it. You see, my goal is to explain to the new person what the podcast is, tell them about the structure, tell them they don't need to listen, tell them that there's no pressure to fall asleep. And that's like a normal intro of a podcast would be about that long. They just say, you know, one, two, three. We're talking to Newts. Uh, today we're going to be talking about that great Newton novel. Newton was not a Newt. Uh, it's Alvin Newt uh, exploring the worlds of physics. Uh, and they, they say, so let's get to it. And they would get to it. For me, one, I'm not very good at that. But two, the whole idea of the intro is that you ease into bedtime. So some, well, most people start listening before they get in bed. But there's no right or wrong way. Then a lot of other people start listening once they're in bed. 2% of people skip ahead to 20 minutes. So they start the show at about 20 minutes. And, and then there's people that listen all night on either Patreon or they just run these streams, the, the free episodes all night. So, but that's a smaller percentage too. But so the whole idea of the intro is that uh, you can, because I don't have a way personally or professionally uh, to just instantly put myself or anyone else to sleep. Or to do it, in, I mean, sleep and efficiency, we know, you're listening to the show, they don't necessarily, there's not a lot of overlap for us, unfortunately. For that other person in bed, they might have the most efficient sleep and the snoring and the blanket hogging down. So what I've seen work is just easing things into bedtime, like a long runway uh, to help you get comfortable and let the day drift away. So that's why the intro is about 20 minutes or tw like, yeah, 12 to 20 minutes long or so. And if you become a regular listener, you could say, well, be, I think I'm that 2% that skipped the intro. And then you could always change your mind. That's a great thing about the show. You could try it every single way and see what works. And then particularly at this time, a lot of people are listening during the day while they do chores or other daily tasks just to have a, like a just mental distraction to take their mind off of things. So those are the things I was going to talk about. I think that's it. Oh no, the rest of structure show. Then I guess tonight we'll be talking about, uh, newts in some sense. And so that'll be, so there'll be the intro will end in a few minutes. Then we'll have some business. Then we'll talk about, we'll do this newt cast. I don't know what it'll be. And then we have some thank yous. So, so that's the structure of the show and kind of the reasons why we do it uh, like structurally. The reason why I make the show, and you probably can read between the lines, is I've been there, right? Uh, tossing and turning, trouble getting to sleep, uh, trouble staying asleep. That's where I'm at right now. And then that it becomes a cycle, right? Then uh, for me, I start stop looking forward to bedtime. Now, I do have an anchor, which is my bedtime routine, which is why I make the show, too, is like I've learned that having an anchor or having a keystone or habit or whatever you want to call it, like a, some kind of small bedtime routine, at least makes it a little bit easier. And if there's something nice in there or something neutral, in this case, you'll say, well, sleep with me. I wouldn't call it nice. It's, it's not half bad. It's like, for, for, you know. It's 51% pretty darn great, and then 22%, meh, yeah, and then whatever. You could rate it however you wish. 
Oh, that's that's another podcast, ratemynutes.com. That's more, I'm not into that one because it's people, what do they call those? People, uh, you know, people that like, uh, you know, cohabitate with newts. I mean, not like that. Like, uh, what do they call that when you're like a newt caretaker? And then they're more into how their newts look, which is say, come on. Like, aren't we being, like you see, all newts are beautiful. So I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, what was that? What was I going to say? Structure. Oh, why I make the show? Because I've been there. I know how it feels. And I want to give you something to be a part of your bedtime routine that maybe you could look forward to, or at least it relieves some of the tension there. And that leads into why, the real why. You deserve a good night's sleep. That's why I make the show. And that's why I hope it can help you. Because I want you to have a safe place to rest. Uh, and, and as someone that has, that struggles with that, uh, you know, no one deserves that, right? And, and it would be so much nicer for you in your life uh, if you had that. So hopefully I can provide that or be one part of it. That's what most regular, because people have listened to the show now for like seven years. And I get to know some of those people and hear their journeys. And yeah, now they say, well, I have this whole other routine. Or some people stop listening for a while. They listen when they're in, in university. And then they take a break because then they're kind of like, uh, and then they get their second or first job, uh, or then they start a family, or then we're going through this thing as a globe. Uh, so, uh, but a lot of people are here, oh yeah, so this is now sleep with me is part of my bedtime routine, but also these other things are. So just see how it goes. I mean, if you're new, I hope I can help you. And if you're a regular listener, you know how much it means to me to be able to help, uh, so thank you so much for coming back night after night after night. And I think that's it. I mean, I'm glad you're here. I work very hard. I yearn and I strive. I want to help you fall asleep. Uh, again, I appreciate you coming by. And here's a few ways I'm able to bring you this podcast for free. Sleep With Me is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. What if comparing car insurance rates was as easy as putting on your favorite podcast? With Progressive, it is. Just visit the Progressive website to quote with all the coverages you want. You'll see Progressive's direct rate. Then their tool will provide options from other companies so you can compare. All you need to do is choose the rate and coverage you like. Quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's thoughts, you know, things you're thinking about. Usually those are thoughts. They're not even, here's the thing, I'm not even thinking about them. I'm like, what are you doing there? How'd you get there? So things on your mind or within your mind or all around your mind. Feelings, those could be emotions coming up because of those thoughts or th that are just there. Or they're like a wave from the day or the far past that hasn't quite receded yet. Because not everything's like a beach, you know what I'm saying? So thoughts, feelings, physical sensations uh, that could be related to thoughts, feelings, or just on their own that are there. Could be changes in your routine, your location, your schedule, whatever it is. I'm here to take your mind off stuff and keep you company as you drift off. And what I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could, oh, where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake. Also a repetitive place. Holy, you see, sometimes being repetitive is reassuring, but not reassuring like, I'm not an actuary, which I'm not even positive what that is, but I think it involves numbers and stuff. You'd say, okay, thank goodness you're not an actuary. So, oh, what was my, oh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a safe place. Uh, I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to pat it. I'm going to rub it down.
the safe place, not, you know, that's what I'm rubbing down. And my elbows, of course. And I'm going to send that across the deep, dark night, lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. I'm going to go way off a topic, which I've already done, but further afield is where I'll be at some point. All to keep your mind, take your mind off stuff and keep you company. Now, if you're a regular listener, holy cow, what's up? So good to have you back. So glad I can help you. Thank you so much for listening to this show on a regular basis. I'm I'm really honored to be here. Now, if you're new, though, this I want to give you some information. Regular listener, they're already like kind of used to all this nonsense, where you might not be, and that's totally normal. So a few things to know right up, well, kind of up front if you're new. One, this podcast is not for everybody. It's just a little bit, it's, it's not a little bit different, but it, it just isn't for everybody. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But for everybody who's said it's their cup of tea, it's not like a regular tea where they say the first taste, they say, oh boy, is that green mint with, uh, or is that a cam, you know, vanilla, is that vanilla sleepy time? Oh boy, it's it's, just, it's like sleepy time, but with vanilla. Like, this is not like that. You say, well, this is, is this tea? Are you sure this is tea? But then after two or three tries, you say, hmm, this is a tea I enjoy now. At first, I wasn't sure because I said, is that some sort of uh, bitter melon or a tea? And you say, now it's a flavor I look forward to if you become a regular listener. And that's what most regular listeners say, like 95% of people that listen to this podcast on a regular basis. And because it's free, just give it a few tries and see how it goes. I really hope it can help you, but I can't guarantee it. But I do want the show to help you. And I'm going to give you more information just so you kind of I can try to win, win over your trust a little bit. So podcast isn't for everybody. Even the people it is for don't like it on the first couple tries. Uh, other things to know. One, this isn't a podcast you really listen to. It's a podcast you barely listen to. Like uh, your, uh, like this is not a like like an imaginary that imaginary Nana voice in your mind when you're going out. You're trying to go out, and then this is uh, oh boy, you're going out like that, and you say yeah, uh, was uh, well, you're not going to bring this, this or that. Do you have any galoshes? And you say Nana, I don't even know what a gal. I don't know what a gal. Like is it a? I don't even know what a galosh is or a galoshes. But it sounds like the way you said it, they come in pairs. I believe, is are those like, uh, like I'm going to giggle when I say this, Nana. Are those like rubbers, uh, like shoe protect, like uh, for my shoes, I mean. You say, oh, boy, oh, boy, you might as well not, you're going to go, you're going to talk, you're going to talk to somebody with that mouth uh, and that mind. And then what was my point? Uh, I have no idea what my point is. Uh Oh, this is a podcast you don't listen. Normally, when you're in a more uh, grounded state, you say, "Uh huh, Nana, I am Nana. Do you want me to get you anything?" Like a, a person, well-adjusted person. I'm not that person, but when Nana says those things, you say, "Oh boy, like uh, yeah, Nana, I'm headed out. Uh, yeah, I'm headed out just like this." But uh, did you have some advice? Oh, galoshes. Nana, maybe I'll pick. I don't own any galoshes, Nana, but I'll look for some while I'm out. Or you know, my, my, my celebratory, uh, you know, midsummer days coming, if you want to put those under the old uh, giving tree, it'd be great. I'd love to have some galoshes, Nana. Great idea. I got to go. Do you want, again, do you want me to have, fetch anything? Butterscotch candies, root beer, whatever those hard root beer r- barrels are. Oh, boy, I'll see you soon. Can't wait. I'll be counting the moments. Oh, you live within my mind. Oh, so you're coming with me. Let's go then. So that's, uh, oh, so you don't need to listen. That was kind of listening. It'd be more like a passive aggressive version of that adjusted person. We say, uh-huh, Nana. Oh yeah, galoshes. Oh boy, do I. I don't have galoshes. I have galoshes, galoshes is, is, is in my trunk, a trunk full of galoshes. Remember when I put out that song to that 80s song or 90s song, Pocket Full of Kryptonite? It was trunk full of galoshes t- tonight. Uh, 
in every night. So that would be so. This but this is a pie kiss. You just kind of go, uh huh. Okay, scoots. Oh boy. Uh huh. Galoshes, eh? You like saying that, don't you? Are you gonna say galosh I next? Oh boy. Uh huh. Then scoots will go east or a mice. Uh uh huh. So that's one thing. Uh, you don't need to listen to me. Also, this is strange, but this is a sleep podcast. There's no pressure to fall asleep. One, I'm going to be here for an hour, so you have plenty of time to fall asleep. But the other thing is these episodes are complete, so if you can't sleep, I'm here to keep you company, and I'll be here to the very end. So you, you can drift off whenever you want. There's no pressure to listen and no pressure to fall asleep. I'm here to keep you company, to apply for the position of boar friend, boar bay, boar cuz, boar sib, uh, boar bestie, boar bra, whatever it is. Uh, if you're in San Diego, that's for San Diegans and stuff. Uh, so I'm here to keep you company as you drift off. Um what else? Oh, structure. That's another thing that can throw new listeners off. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the structure of the show. Starts off with a greeting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends beyond the binary. That's to make you feel welcome and let you know you are welcome here. Then there's a business. That's how we keep the podcast coming out twice a week. Then there's an intro. Sometimes new listeners particularly get the business and the intro mixed up, or they say, well, why do I got to sit through the business? And I say, well, it's a sleep podcast. We got to do it up front. But here's the thing. If you're new, you don't got to listen. You could practice not paying attention. If you're a regular listener, I do need to listen to that part. But so then there's the intro, which can sound like business, but it's really the business of not like a nonsense because it's just where Over 900 times I've described how the podcast works, and I'm going to keep you company. I introduce myself to the new listeners. I go off topic a few times. Maybe I talk to the Nana within my mind. But it's like something borrowed, something blue, and something new or whatever, so that uh, if you're new, you get an idea of what to expect indirectly and directly, as a matter of fact. But if you're a regular listener... You say, okay, Scoot, this is going to be a little bit different so my mind doesn't adjust to it, Uh, you know, the parts of me that keep me awake, but at least it's familiar, like uh, all my other favorite familiar things, you know, like my pillows or whatever, you know, or, you know, cupping the old elbows, like I say. Uh, So um, what was my point in there is... uh, Oh, uh, I don't know what my point. Oh, so the intro, though, it's about 12 to 18 minutes. That's what can throw new people off. They say 12 to 18 minutes of introducing a podcast. And I say, yes, a sleep podcast, though. So here's what happens. Like, uh, as you become a regular listener, you kind of start to experiment and build your bedtime routine around the intro. So for a few percentage of listeners, they just start the show 20 minutes. Or they listen to story-only versions on Patreon. For the rest of the listeners, they make different adjustments. Some listeners wake up and start listening to the podcast. Some listeners start the show before they get into bed as they're doing their wind down and bed prep routine. Some listeners are in bed getting cozy and maybe doing some sort of other mellow activity. And some listeners are drifting off into sleep, so you can just kind of see how it goes. But the the idea of the intro is to take some distance away from the day and to ease you into bedtime. And then there's business between the intro and the episode. Then there'll be the episode. It'll be our episodically modular serial series, Otter Things. That's O-T-T-E-R-T-H-I-N-G-S, which has a tagline, All Will Be Well. And that's a show, like a series, but you can listen to it in any order. So you could listen to tonight's episode 8, I think. You could listen to episode 8 because it will fill you in on everything you need to know. And then the other episode, it would be like this is episode 1 and the first seven episodes are prequels. And a survey says everybody loves a prequel. So seven pre, you say, okay, you're telling me there's like uh, episode 8, 9, 10, 11... And there's seven prequels. Holy moly. And I'd say, yeah, that is like, a, I'd say it's like a holy poly or something for pre- prequels. Uh, but yeah, holy prequelies. 
So, and then there's some thank yous at the end. So that's the structure of the show. And I think that's most of the stuff you need to know. Other than this, like the reason I make the show is because I've been there, even recently, two nights ago. So I know how it feels, tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep, all those things. And it's just not pleasant being tired or overtired or cranky. All those things I've experienced very recently, uh, but not right now. Right now I'm here to keep you company, so I'm happy. I feel good. So that's one part of it. The other part is you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve a place where you can rest and relax. And you deserve to wake up and feel like ready and energized to face the day. I mean, not every day, but, you know, most of the time at least. And I really want to live in a world like that where you're rested because that means you're going to be flourishing and our world will be a better place, truly, if your world's a better place. So that's why I'm here. That's what I do. Again, give it a few tries and see how it goes for you. You really have nothing to lose. I mean, other than the people that already turned it off that really don't get, like, they don't, I don't know, even those people, especially recently, I've gotten more and more reviews of people that loathed, stronger than loathed me. And those were, I mean, that's just my family members and other people, like, uh, and then said, eventually the guy used to, like, I realized, oh, wait a second. Uh, like, I don't loathe this podcast. It's just different. Like, that meant whatever. I thought it was tea. And then I said, well, this doesn't taste like tea. And I said, oh, it does taste like tea, just not the, what I was expecting. So that's all you really need to know other than I'm here to help. I'm going to do my best, uh, which, you know, some people would shrug at, but, uh, I'm going to do my best. I'm here to keep you company to take your mind off of stuff. I really appreciate your time and checking this show out. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And here's a couple ways we're able to bring this podcast twice a week. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep we do with a bedtime story all you need to do is get in bed turn out the lights and press play i'm going to do the rest what i'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place uh, where you could set aside uh, whatever's keeping you awake it could be thoughts you're thinking about things on your mind from the past the present or the future uh, thoughts of feelings it could be any emotions coming up for you uh, feelings of physical sensations it could be changes in time or temperature or, you know, other things. It could just be, you know, it could be anything. It really, I've heard from so many people and so many different things, uh, work uh, or, uh, you know, just outside stuff, uh, birds. Uh, like I have, a, like, I, I, I guess we should look up what bird brain means, but I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, because I've been called a bird brain, but I think like a lot of times I would have thought that was not nice. But then I'm like, well, my brain, I think I understand what you're saying. And I think I do actually have a bird brain. But I'll have to come back to that because I'm in the middle of a podcast. I mean, like I'm at the start of a podcast intro. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a safe place where you could set all that aside. I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to pat it. I'm going to rub it down. I'm going to say safe place. I'm going to try to create space, uh, and then I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, a creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. Like, so I'm going to go off topic. I'm going to get mixed up. I'm going to misspeak. I'd like, uh, probably try to remember what I was supposed to talk about. Oh, bird brain, you know, I'll, I'll follow, I'll try to follow my bird brain around for a little while. And, uh, I guess if I have like, that means most of my, I guess my hair is a bit like a nest. So that's interesting. Mine is like, a, you say, what type of net? Well, a nest made of hay my, would be my hair. That's how a bird, like I'd say, what is that? Is that th a super thin hay? Uh, that you're like you're nested in, I'd say, yeah, that's m about my hair. See, I don't know about the structural integrity. I said, don't worry, I got a dome up there, so you could sit on my dome. You'd more be resting in my hair for comfort, but my dome, the dome of my uh, head, would, would support you. 
Not that I really need an actual bird because I have a bird brain, so I don't need an actual bird like living on top of my head with my hair as a nest. This is just an imaginary exercise. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disappoint you. But you can't fly, so that's like a new, like, uh, do you, when you're down, do you go flying? Do you soar? Like, uh, like, because uh, I've always wanted to soar on thermals. That comes up every once in a while. But, you know, and then I, but they taught us that myth when I was a kid. And that's pretty much, unfortunately, instead of soaring on thermals, I've just integrated that one lesson. Don't try to soar on thermals or you end up like, uh, Whatever that kid, not Sisyphus. That's another. That's another mythological character. One of the many I, I try to emulate, unfortunately, that are hardwired into my behavior. And I'm not kidding. That's why I'm laughing. Why can't I think of the names of the? Well, I just saw. I think Menelaus was involved in that. But Menel, anyway. Oh, Icarus. Uh, they say, well, it was the video games that glorified Kid Icarus that really made me buy into that myth. Don't try to soar or you'll end up like Icarus. Don't try. And then as a parent, they say, don't encourage your child to soar. Anyway, this is not good advice. That's just stuff that goes on in my brain. That was just me. That was a pointless meander. Believe me, it was pointless. So if you're new, oh boy, you, do, you were in for an early treat there. You got a little uh, insight into who makes this podcast as we followed my bird brain. And I thought, hey, you're going to soar in a beautiful way. And uh, I guess you soared very close to the earth and there's some droppings there. But if you're new, you might be wondering what in the, what in the bird of hay nest is going on? What in the Sam hay are you talking about? And I'd say, okay, you're right. There's a couple of things I should tell you if you're new. One, that reaction is very normal skepticism, doubt, when you get to this podcast, a dislike or an unsure, like, I'm not sure what flavor this is, is a very natural way to approach this podcast because it's not for everybody, uh, but it's also very different. So give it a few tries. Try not to listen to this podcast just so much or consume it so much as like, let it go by like a breeze. You know, like a light breeze, you're like aware of it, but you're not, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to like close the umbrella or whatever, put a rock on a piece of paper. You say, oh, that's a light breeze. Like I'm barely noticeable, like a light breeze. So just like consume the podcast almost like it's out of focus. Like you're not really listening to me. You're just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. Menelaus. Uh, okay. Dr. Zaius. Okay. I say thanks for rhyming there. Um, so that's one thing if you're new. The second thing is give the show a few tries. Most regular listeners just say, hey, it took two or three tries before I got used to the show and realized that it doesn't make any sense, and that's the point. So give it a few tries. Uh, this is a pod- So it's a podcast you don't need to listen to. Most people don't like it the first time they listen. Those are natural things. kind of funny. Uh, but if you stick around, there's a chance you might like it. And obviously, by liking it, the best part is if you like this podcast, you don't barely pay any attention to it and you barely hear any of it. My dad was just telling me that he's proud of me because he never listens to me. Uh, and I say, well, I said, is this a metaphor? And he goes, no, I'm talking about the podcast. Uh, and like, uh, I don't know, that was a mo- it was a strange moment to share and I said, Dad, Pop, and then, so anyway, that's, but that's true. Like, if you like this podcast, you might barely listen. Now, there is another side to it. This podcast is here to put you to sleep, uh, but in a way of like, I'm here to keep you company as you drift off. But if you can't sleep, I'm going to be here till the very end. The show's about an hour, so you don't got to worry about it. If you can't sleep, I'll be here for an hour. If you fall asleep fast, I'll be here for an hour to keep you company. Or if you wake up and you need me, I'll be here. You can just hit play. Uh, or if you're not sure, you got an hour. you got plenty of time. I'll be here to keep you company. I'm trying to be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar cuz, your boar sib, your boar bestie, your boar bra. Uh, just kind of see how it goes uh, and say, okay, well, I think I get the idea. So those are a couple of things to know. The other thing that can throw new listeners off is the structure of the show. 
uh, now regular listeners, they, they know this part, but it's different every time because I, I explain it in a different way every single episode. Uh, but here's the structure of the show. Different than most podcasts or anything. You say that resemb- that doesn't really resemble a structure I'm familiar with. And I'd say, are you talking about my nest? My, my hair also does not resemble any structures people are familiar with. Even barbers and beauticians when they see my hair. But I remember this. I'm not kidding. I was at somebody's house and this guy was staring at my hair. And I didn't know him like it was a like it was a like a introductory thingamajig where we were all getting together. We shared some common experience and said, oh, let's get together and hang out. Uh, we don't drink. That was a common experience. But so we uh, he was staring at me for a while and he said, and I said, is there uh, a way I can talk about this? It's not awkward. And he said, well, actually, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I have a salon. And uh, never seen hair. And I say, yeah, I get it all the time. Believe me, hair professionals are baffled. And he did say whoever had buzzed my hair at that time did a very good job of keeping it even, despite the strange contours of both my head and my hair behavior. So if a bird was to make its home in my hair, I guess what I was saying is they'd they'd say, well, structurally, uh, this is an interesting place to live. The structure of this podcast is also interesting and different, which can be off-putting at first. So that's a normal reaction. That's what I wanted to say, but it took me like 10 minutes to say that. And here's the structure. show starts off with a greeting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends beyond the binary. And when I remember for Doctor Who episodes, trees and multiforms. Uh, That's so everybody knows that I'm trying to make you feel welcome and that I'll try to treat you with dignity and respect and I want you to feel seen, um, if at all possible. Or if you'd rather not be seen, that I see that and then I say, just lay low. I'll pretend you're not, you know, we'll we'll just move on. So that's the greeting. Then there's business. There's probably, I don't know, four, six minutes of business or something. That's how we're able to bring you the podcast twice a week. Uh, then there's an intro, which is around 12 to 20 minutes long, which we're in the middle of where I just try to explain what the podcast is. It's totally separate from the business. Uh, uh, but it's like the business of introducing the podcast to new listeners. So you know what you're getting into. And, uh, then you say, well, I'm not sure how to feel about what I got into. Just like the bird that lands on my head says, what is this? This isn't like the other human hair I've landed on. You see, no, this is human fur. Not many people have it, but I do. Uh, and then, what was I saying? Oh, oh, the intro. So that's for the new listener. You might be you say, well, I don't understand. But and then, but the reason the intros are long is it takes me a long time to explain the podcast. But it also so- ser- serves this, uh, ideally soothes and serves another purpose, which is for the regular listener. It gives you plenty of time to get some distance from the day, to slowly go in for a landing, whether you're getting ready for bed outside of bed, you're doing your skincare routine, you're doing some other gentle activity, maybe you're foam rolling, I don't know, maybe you're petting your pets, that's what I always strongly encourage you, you know, maybe you're doodling, knitting, hooking. No, like hooking is like a type of like, a, like maybe, you do, I don't know, like uh, maybe you're doing something else. Maybe you're give, getting a massage, giving a massage. If you're giving, like if you're getting one, I'd say to the other person, thank you, thank you. It's about time, you know, with all your snoring. Uh, or maybe you're just sitting there or maybe you're in bed getting comfortable and getting ready to drift off and sinking in. And, you know, gripping, you know, adjusting the pillows and the blankets. So that's the, that's the purpose of the intro is because I don't know if you're like me, but for me, sleep just doesn't come. It takes a while to get there. And the whole part of this podcast is like you're trying to do that in a gentle uh, way that at least feels neutral. If it can't feel enjoyable, that at least it doesn't feel like a drag, which is how it normally feels to me sometimes when I don't have a nice wind down. Now, if you're not into the wind down, most listeners like uh, that aren't into it, the, there's about 2%, according to, it's pretty much statistically, like it's more and more 
I see it more and more. About 2% of listeners, they start around 20 minutes. And then people that support the show on Patreon, they get story-only episodes and stuff. So that's, that's uh, I don't know. So that's one thing to know. Uh, oh, that's the intro. I guess, yeah, so that is one thing to know. Then there's some business. That's just like how we kind of structure things with the podcast. Then there'll be a talk about uh, an episode of Doctor Who. Now, there's a couple of questions you might have. I've never seen Doctor Who. Don't worry. This will be like a bedtime story or a myth. I've seen Doctor Who, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, don't worry. This is going to be very soft and soothing and not like those archetypal Doctor Who, because I had those archetypal Doctor Who feelings from the 80s. You see, well, I'm a Doctor Who super fan. I'd say, well, see how it goes then. Like, because some Doctor Who super fans, just like next generation super fans or good place super fans, find the shows very effective. And then some people find they say, oh, well, it's a good, great that uh, Scoots has the support to put out episodes twice a week. I'll just skip those. But I always recommend giving it a try and seeing how it goes. So that, and then the show ends with some thank yous and good nights as a reminder of the gratitude for everyone that makes this possible. So that's uh, some things to know. The other thing to know, other than I have a bird brain, which means that uh, to me, because I guess I don't know, because to me it sounds like an I N S U L T generally, but then I say, well, my bird, like if it's one of those birds that's just hopping around on branches, that's what my brain does all, and my feelings do all day long. So if you mean that, that, uh, that I guess my brain is a bit like a bird brain, and I, I, I accept that, and I'm, I'm uh, trying to observe it in a gentle way. Uh, but the reason I make the show is, I mean, because that's part of who I am. Also part of who I am is I don't, I've had trouble sleeping my whole life, uh, on and off, and I know how it feels in the deep, dark night. That's why I say the deep, dark night. I've been there, tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep, uh, all those things, o other stuff too. So if I can help you, it would be my honor. And, and this podcast doesn't work for everybody. I really wish it did. Like, because those of you that say, well, I don't like this show. Uh, I mean, there is sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you. Uh, but I wish it worked for everybody because what world we would live in if I, there was just like, uh, but that's just not the reality. So, um, that's the other thing. Uh, oh, the other thing is like, uh, the reason, the other reason I make the show is because you deserve a good night's sleep. I really believe that you deserve a place of rest, a safe place where you can get the sleep you desire and that you need. That would be, that, that's even better. Like uh, if you get the rest you need, you can live your life. And that's really important to me. And it's important for me to point it out every episode that I remember, which is most of them, because I want you to know that uh, and to kind of say, oh, okay. And then even if the pod, this podcast doesn't work for you, you say, well, maybe tomorrow I'll try that uh, petting my pets more or uh, doodling and, and maybe you'll find something else that helps. Uh, so I think that's it. I mean, I'm really glad you came and checked the show out. If you're new... Like I said, even if you're doubtful or you don't even think the show will work, uh, the reviews, people say that, regular listeners. So I would say maybe you have nothing to lose. Give it a few tries and then see if it doesn't work for you. But I'm really glad you're here. I really appreciate you coming by and checking this show out. Uh, and I really want to help. I work very hard. I yearn a nice drive. Thanks again for coming by. I really want to help you fall asleep. And these are a couple ways we're able to bring this show on a regular basis. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it a bedtime story. All you need to do, if you wish, you don't even need to do it. You could do it, uh. Uh, is get in bed and turn out the lights and press play. And you could also do that in any order, or you could say, well, I just dim the lights. And I say, totally understand that. But I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do 
is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever is keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, you know, things on your mind you're thinking about, uh, feelings, you know, anything if you're feeling emotionally or physically yeah, coming up for you. So things are, you know, things on the mind, brain, you know, brain stuff, feeling stuff, uh, whatever level. What if your shot? I don't know if people's chakras if, have voice, uh, but if your chakras are like singing like Shaka Khan, uh, I guess that would get my hips moving. Maybe I should do that. Let's see, would it, well, I, I'm, how are you becoming familiar with your chakras, Scoots? I say, well, I've called the one on my hips Shaka Khan, uh, and, and so then I can shake my hips. And they say, you don't know what you're ta- about, talking about. about it. And they say, no, no, because I was sorry. I was at the beginning of a podcast intro, and I got mixed up uh, within my mix-ups. Uh, so whatever is keeping you awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that uh, and uh, you keep you company and help you fall asleep. What I'm going to do to do that is, like, I, I got this safe place. You know, let me de-shock con it. Uh, and I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to pat it. I'm going to rub. I'm probably, I'm trying not to gyrate my hips, but it's not easy, even though I'm doing a sleep podcast. Isn't it interesting that, you know, Shakira and Shaka Khan, like, uh, they associate both of them with hip, hip motion, dancing, or making my, making my hips want to move. And, and like they just have the both the like I don't know is that like the same root word at the beginning no those are names okay oh get back to the intro okay so I'm gonna try to create a safe place and I'm gonna send my voice across the deep dark night I'm gonna use lulling soothing creaky dulcet tones oh so creaky. Uh, pointless meanders, which you've, we've already gotten some early bonus ones, uh, superfluous tangents. Maybe some of those were superfluous tangents, uh, like, uh, pointless, superfluous, you know, I'm going to go off topic, all of it to take your mind off of stuff and help you fall asleep. Now, if you're new, a couple of things to answer questions you might be having since you're, that you're new, uh, one, I'm glad you're here. Two, this podcast is not for everybody, but for everybody it has become a podcast for that's become a regular listener. They say it takes two or three tries, and I'll explain that to you in long, drawn-out terms. Uh, so, But if you're skeptical or doubtful, that's a pretty normal way to come to this podcast. Of course you'd be. And I'll probably, like, deepen your skepticism initially. That's one of my, like, winning techniques. I go against all those uh, advice books, they say. And I've called all of them on my imaginary. I say, give me that like hill guy, and can you can we do can we conference in like Vincent Peale, and Hill and Carnegie? Can we get them all on one imaginary call? And they said a Zoom. And I said, yeah, but I'm going to mute them all initially because. uh, and then they say, well, what is it regarding? I say, almost, I think I already forgot. It's some, something counterintuitive I was doing. Oh, uh, uh, Building Rapport by Losing Rapport. It's my latest book uh, that I, in a series of books I'm working on. And they say, really? And they say, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably what tonight's episode will be about. It'll probably be a seminar, <laughs> actually. Great idea, by the way. So we'll, we'll save our call for later. But yeah, by deepening skepticism in this podcast, it eventually it le- we lean in. So keep them on. Can you put people on hold on Zoom, imaginary beings? Great. Thanks, Brain. Uh, so you might be doubtful. Here's the funniest thing that I'm laughing about on the inside is that somehow I looked at my the clock I used to keep time on these intros and I was like clocking in. Now the clock is different than real time, but it was four minutes. So I said, "Oh boy, around minute by minute five, I'll be telling the structure of the podcast to the new listener." I'm like so on um, on time here, and then of course I you know made an imaginary Zoom call. But so one of the things, if you're new, that throws new listeners off is the structure of the show. 
because our show is structured. Initially, it seems like it's structured. Initially, it seems like it's structured like a normal podcast, but it isn't. Uh, it kind of is, though. So it starts off with a greeting, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends beyond the binary, uh, trees and multiforms in this case, because originally this was going to be a Doctor Who episode, but now I think I have to kind of do this seminar one. Uh, but don't worry, you'll still get your Doctor Who episode on time. Um, so that's pretty funny, too, that we opened it, because trees and multiforms is a Doctor Who reference. Oh, get to the point. You're right. Well, that's one of the things we don't do is get to the point. But, yeah, the show starts off with a greeting. Then there's business. That's a cool thing, keeping the podcast free for everybody. Uh, then we go into, after that, we go into an intro. And our intros are around 12 to 20 minutes long, uh, which for a lot of new listeners or people that don't, don't listen to the show, they don't. it, it can kind of seem baffling. So let me kind of explain to you the the intro because it's kind of the most uh, the the thing that people are most wary about, and or the business. I mean, the business is necessary, and the intro is kind of it's not it it, it isn't necessary. So 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 two percent of regular listeners start the show at twenty minutes, and then some large number of patrons listen to story only episodes. But most listeners listen to the intro. And the intro serves a few purposes. One, uh, to welcome welcome new listeners uh, by deepening their skepticism and losing their rapport, which is my patented method of proving my you know proving my competence or incompetence. Uh, then, uh, what was my point? I already lost it. Uh, so, oh, th- so then the intro. Oh, so the intro is to serve that purpose. One. Then the other thing the intro does for regular listeners is it's part of people's wind down routine because bedtime is not just something that happens instantly to a lot of us. And so uh, some listeners start the intro as they're getting ready for bed or as bedtime is approaching. Uh, Some listeners are in bed already or some are in the room doing some sort of wind down or pre-bedtime, you know, something else relaxing. I can always suggest petting your pets or, you know, kissing your biceps and shoulders. Those are, or bombing your elbows. Uh, those are all ones I recommend. Or lying down. I mean, like not even in bed, I, I like uh, maybe foam rolling. I don't suggest that though, to be honest, I do it, but I, I can't recommend it. Uh, supposedly it's great uh, for you. Uh, um, but, uh, I didn't think the funniest thing I said to me was, uh, foam rolling because I, uh, every time I do it, I say, what am I doing? What am I thinking? But actually, well, anyway, so let's get off the foam roller. Oh, so the intro is kind of like a f- endlessly rolling foam. It's kind of, for some listeners, it is like foam rolling endlessly. Uh, but the whole idea is you start the intro and you start to wind down, whether you're in bed or you're getting ready for bed. And it eases you into bedtime. So that is why the intro is so long and pointless for because it's, I guess, because it's supposed to be. And I'm good at it, good at doing that. Uh, but it does, it is an acquired taste and it is optional. Like I said, you could start your podcast at 20 minutes or 22 minutes. Uh, it seems to be the sweet spot for that percentage of people that want to skip ahead. Uh, so that's the intro. Then tonight, originally, I was going to c- cover an episode of Doctor Who, uh, but, but by the magic of editing, instead I'll do a seminar episode because uh, we haven't done one of those in a while. So that'll be fun. Uh, so that'd be kind of like a bedtime story. Between the intro and the show is business. Uh, that's a, kind of a podcast structure thing. And then... Um, Oh, there's thank yous at the end. So it's a structure of the show. A couple other things to know. One, this is a podcast you don't need to listen to. You probably already came to that conclusion yourself uh, because I kind of go off topic and you could just kind of barely listen or listen to me in a loose, out of focus, a fuzzy way. Though if you want to listen, I'm here. And that goes into our next point. This podcast isn't really here to put you to sleep. It's here to keep you company as you fall asleep. 
to take your mind off of stuff, to be your bedtime companion, your friend in the deep, dark night. I mean, that's a role I'm really applying for. The role he was born to play, uh, the person who's never listened to. And they'd say, well, that's pretty accurate, actually. Bo- the role I'm po- proud to play. Uh, he's been on, he's been over uh, approaching 900 performances uh, or over it with bonus episodes and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that I get to be here to take your mind off stuff, to be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar cuz, your boar sib, your boar bestie, your boar bruh. Uh, whatever it is you like, uh, that's what I'm here to do is just keep you company as you fall asleep. Now here's the other side. If you can't sleep, I'm here for you. So if you're you, like, I have listeners that just can't sleep or people that are going, you know, you got something going on or maybe it's during the day and you need a break during the day. I'm here. So I'll be here till the end of this episode, uh, to keep you company. Cause that's my job. I think that's it as far as, like, the this, this, uh, this structure of the show. I mean, I was thinking about the spatial relations stuff uh, I was talking about at the beginning. And then I said, well, it could be, yeah, like, spatial relations. I don't know if what that book, that Karma, karma the Sutra, Sutra Karma book is, is about spatial relations. But, like, I was thinking more, like, talking it out, that kind of spatial relations. But then I was like, oh, would it be about... Would it be about beings in space? Would I be an expert in the relation? I probably wouldn't be good at that. But what if I was saying, hey, Quark, I heard you're, uh, I don't, actually, I don't know what a Quark is, so we'll have to cover that. But I heard you have some issues with a nebula uh, and strong feelings about it. So I'm here to kind of do, help you to work it out, even though you're not sentient. You know, I got it. When universes clash, it has to be... Uh, Whatever, I'm here to modulate that or whatever that proper word is that someone does that. Oh, yeah, I'm here to facilitate collisions between universes and uh, galaxies. You know, we can't have a black hole without a little bit of at least trying to build some consensus first, of course. So, I mean, I think that's that's kind of like a... I don't even know what I was, oh, the spatial relations. I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to do now with this show is with those parts of your brain that keep you up. Like maybe you say, I don't, you just even know what a quark is, or maybe you have something saying that to yourself. And I say, okay, well, what if I talk to you about uh, how I build rapport by losing it? And you say, well, do you know how you do that? And I say, well, not yet, but I'll talk it out. Yeah, do you think it'll make any sense? No, I mean, probably uh, it'll be about, uh, it'll make 20% sense and the rest will be, feel like nonsense. And uh, then I'll probably talk about nonsense and then maybe again think about shaking my hips. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just here to keep you company and talk. You don't even really have to listen to me. Uh, and, uh, you know, don't worry. I, I, if any galaxies are approaching you, you know, I'm going to shine a little light on the dark matter, too, and, and say, hey, uh, you know, holy nebula, like uh, all that kind of stuff. We might even watch some of the scenes from movies with nebula, with some nebula. Say, hey, sit down. Let's have a movie night. You know, let's get to know one another. This is nebula, a nebulous character uh, in a different uh, uh, variety of movies. Uh, oh, yeah, I got to get back. So uh, where was I? Nowhere. Exactly. That's one of my favorite things that happens by accident when that happens. I love that. Say, so where was I? Say, absolutely nowhere, Scoots. Say, thanks, brain. Perfect. We're doing a great job. And you're doing a great job. And I'm not kidding when I say that. Like, the reason I make the show is because I've been there sleepless and I know how it feels. And you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve a safe place to respite. And I'm here to try to provide that for you. And that really is my honor. And if there was a superpower, even though I'm not sure Nebula is a superpower. I mean, she's superpowered, but uh, I don't know if she necessarily has superpowers. She may be some sort of powered being. I can't remember. Like, it may be that her powers are normal for her. That's what I mean. Like, on Earth, she seems like she has superpowers. But she says, well, whatever I'm from, Orion 9, 
this is a normal, you know. So, okay, where was I? I'm already lost once again. So, I don't know. I think that's about it. It's like, uh, make the show because you deserve a good night's sleep. Uh, I hope I can help. I really appreciate you coming by and checking this podcast out. And I yearn and I strive to help you fall asleep. Thanks again for coming by. And here's a couple of ways we're able to keep this podcast uh, free for everybody. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, uh, turn out the lights, and press play. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to do the rest. Uh, like when I say we, it's the royal, ro- maybe we could talk about the royal we. There's so many ways we could go with that. Uh, wait, now I'm so mixed up. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and write some plus, plus, plus play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever is keeping you awake. It could be things on your mind that you're thinking about. So thoughts, uh, it could be feelings, uh, phys- physical, like so emotions, uh, thoughts, uh, physical sensations. It could be anything coming up. Temperature, time, uh, just like remnants of the day. You see, well, I'm not sure if this is a thought or a, feel- <laughs> a, fa- a feeling, a fraught, fought feeling. Uh, or, see, it's a bit of a thought and a feeling and it feels, you know, say, a fraught. Uh, I've had, uh, don't worry, I've had those before. Like it's not, a, I'm not fraught. I'm feel. I'm not feeling fraught. I'm having a fraught. Believe it or not, one time when I was a boy, when I was just a lad, uh, I, they, they said, I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to sell frosted frauts. Uh, and they said, frosted frogs? Like, uh, that was JK. And they st- they said, chocolate frog. I thought I was selling frosted frauts and frosted frogs. Uh, no, uh. I just went off topic. I don't know what I, like, I didn't do that as a lad, but I imagine I would. Frosted frots for sale, extra frosty, and uh, so anyway, I'm here to take your mind off of stuff, whatever's keeping you awake. It could be any of those things, but it could be something else. You know, you, you, you could be whatever, what are you dealing with? Go ahead, uh, go ahead and let it out, say. It could, you could just, you don't even have to just say frot, frumph, uh, you could say harumph. Uh, you could do one of those. Oh, let it out a little bit. We really, we we don't get to be as interactive. You know, it's not always necessary, but tonight it feels like it, doesn't it? So, oof. Oof, uh, make one of those faces that uh, cats make in comic books, comedic cats, and then the uh, the one of the artists or the editor or the writer or the penciler, or the anchor, someone has to come up with how to put that into words, that face the cat is making. So, yeah, oh boy, right? Because it wouldn't make sense if the cat said, oh boy, unless it was, you know, unless it made sense. Okay, where was it? So, sorry, if you're new, I don't always go off topic this early, but I normally do. Inevitably... When I say I don't, I've just gone off topic hundreds of episodes in a row at this time. And I already forgot what the first thing we were going to talk about that was going to be interesting. Oh, the royal we. But let me set up for new listeners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. I'm going to go naturally. I'm going to go off topic uh, and uh, get mixed up. So if you're new, though, a lot of important things to know. My regular listeners, what up? Uh, frost? Why don't you have a frosted fraught and groan while I talk to these new listeners? Or grimace, you could make you could make a verbal grimace or a, a silent grimace, uh, or just grimace with your body. Go right ahead. You know that was a funny thing. That wasn't there a corporate mascot's assistant or best friend named Grimace, but Grimace always had a smile. I never thought about that till now. 
probably hours after leaving the fast food restaurant that where Grimace worked all day long and living in a world based on a fast food belief system. Uh, like late at night when the cameras weren't on, Grimace was grimacing. He said, oh boy. He said, wait, wait, like Grimace probably said, Ronald, explain this to me again. What happens to the, fr- what, because I think they were called like the fry guys, which were like little kids. He said, what happens to them after they go in your restaurant? That's oil? Oh my goodness. Uh, a happy meal goes to be a place where it's happy, right, Ronald? Of course it does, Grimace. Goes to the happiest place uh, it could ever go. Uh, well, a couple different places, actually, to be honest with you, Grimace. The belly. Uh, the toys will uh, go probably in the car and then under a car seat eventually. And everything else hopefully goes into either compost or re- recycling bin. Uh, Ronald, what's a be- is the belly the same thing I had? Wait a second. But... What about when we go through the Fry Lane and we sing the It's Rain and Fry song? Okay, how do we get this off topic? I thought we were going to talk about the Royal We. Okay, so if you're new, this does this normally, as I said, this normally happens, uh, but I guess I like to pretend it doesn't. So if you're new, a couple things to know. This podcast is very different and strange. I think you've seen that already. And it is a podcast that is best consumed in a loose way, like, like uh, with a natural grimace if you're new. Uh, not to, to bring it back, though, or a, a doubt or skepticism. That's how most people approach this podcast at first, and so that's a totally normal way to think about and look at the show. Uh, totally what most people do, totally reasonable, because it's, it's different. So one thing to know is just kind of barely listen. Like sometimes people are new and they're like waiting for the story to start and wait, waiting for the sleepy stuff, uh, waiting for the magic to happen, but the magic never really happens. Uh, like we get, this is where you go to get to see, you say, well, I, who, who's Grimace and Ronald Scooter? And I say, well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a, it's just it's just one of those things in my mind that's constantly playing in the background, and then I say, "Wait a second, is that is that a, a Donald's land over there? I forgot all about it." Uh, but I do, I still can't believe that creature's name was Grimace. Uh, now, because isn't a grimace like a face you make when your be- you your belly isn't feeling good? You say, "Oh boy." Uh, but, but you're not totally, you say, well, it's just in a state that I'm not happy. I'm grimacing. Or when Scoots makes a joke, what's the face, uh, Alec, uh, what's the, what is, uh, what is the face I make when I'm listening to Scooter? Correct. Grimace. Uh, okay. So yeah, just basically consume this podcast loosely, barely listen. That's the first thing. The second and the other part of the first thing is if you're doubtful or skeptical or not sure you like the show, that's totally normal. Most regular listeners say, give it two or three tries and then kind of see, assess it after the third try and say, oh, I went from a strong loathing to a mild, uh, not caring. And then I say, my job is done. That's a successful transition. Uh, but you could say, well, I went from a strong ro- loathing to no longer listening. You say, okay, that's good. You're on your journey to your next thing. So barely listen. The other thing is that this podcast barely puts you to sleep. Even though you barely listen to it, it's more here to be your companion in the deep, dark night. I'm here to be at your bedside, talking a little bit of nonsense to take your mind off of stuff, to be your companion as you drift off. So my job is to take your mind off stuff and distract you. And ideally, as we walk together through the night, you, you float away off into dreamland. So that's what I hope for you. Uh, so it's a podcast you don't listen to. Is even though it's a sleep podcast, doesn't really put you to sleep. And the show is about an hour, so you have plenty of time to fall asleep. And if you can't sleep, as some listeners I know can't, I'm here. I'm here to the very end to keep you company. I take that job very seriously. 
And you can line up back-to-back-to-back episodes if you're waking up or you're going through a tough time or you're just, uh, that's your natural status. They say, well, I just listened to you for a companionship, Scoots, uh, to be my boar bud. I'm here for you. I'm more than willing to follow Grimace down Fry Guy Lane and then, you know, and follow Grimace home where Grimace is sitting on, I picture Grimace with a twin bed, a very simple room, not just because it's probably underpaid, but uh, I don't know, Spart is that, is that what you, you'd say? Oh, it's a Spartan room. And right now Grimace is sitting on the edge of Grimace's bed. Oh, Grimace is like a big purple being uh, a bit like a like a it's a it's a mm, i don't know how else to describe it looks like a grimace kind of shaped like an upside down light bulb but uh, much more fuzzy and plush and none of that's probably accurate with a big smiling face and big eyes so Oh, boy. Where was that? I was trying to explain what my sleep podcast was. Okay, so don't listen. Don't pay attention. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you company while you fall asleep. Structure of the show throws people off, obviously. Show starts off with a greeting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends beyond the binary. Then there's business. That's what enables us to bring the podcast twice a week for free. Then, the, like around six minutes or so into the show, or eight minutes or something, from eight, minute eight to minute 20 or 25, is the intro. And the intro is where I just kind of ramble on and on and on, and uh, like just do, 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 like introduce the show. So for a new listener, you kind of get an idea what the podcast is going to be like. And I don't know, it, it just kind of tries to over-explain everything, which is one of my skills. And I get distracted. In the middle of over-explaining stuff, I go off topic and get distracted. Then, oh, what else are you talking about? And I forget stuff. So, those, so Oh, but so the intro for a regular listener, though, you kind of see how you adjust to it. You say, well, I like to start it before I get in bed, or I like to listen in bed, or I fall asleep. Or there's like $10 patrons that get two all-intro episodes a, a month. So they say, oh, that's all I listen to. So just kind of can you develop uh, how you like to listen. So for regular listeners, though, the intro is something different every time but familiar. Because I don't think I've talked about McDonald. Make, well, I shouldn't have said that because now they can find me. Uh, Grimace's family, family land before but i could have i probably i think i talked about snuffleupagus in the last six months and the uh you almost called them the hobbits or the fraggles the fraggle rock and oh boy was i wrong about that because i looked it up on youtube and i said well i got what it, i don't remember much about the fraggles that was correct except for the theme song i was pretty much i was spot, spot on about that uh okay in that they had a belief system. I, well, I don't, yeah, I was wrong about this, but this is not in the intro. Some sort of garbage-based belief system. Okay, so, oh, so that's the intro. Then there's business, and then there's a story. Tonight it'll be our episodically modular series, Otter Things, with a, a bit of seriality. But here's the thing. You could listen to it in any order, because we'll, we'll catch you up on it. But you could also look at it like, uh, what is this, episode 9? You could say, well, this is episode one. All the other episodes are prequels. And I'm not kidding. Just like most of, like mass market paperbacks, you say, okay, well, you, you could read them in order, and that's fine if you want to, but don't worry. Uh, it's just as sleepy, and I'll catch you up on everything you kind of need, barely need to know. Or our hostess will tonight. Uh, so then there's the thank yous at the end of the show. So that's the structure of the show. And I think that's about it. I mean, the podcast is not for everybody. Uh, I've learned that over 900 plus episodes. But uh, a lot of times you don't know if it's for you or not until you find out, which takes a little while. Because it's so different. You say, well, this is a podcast that will barely, like, I like to be, do you like to be entertained? Okay, most people do. What about barely entertained? Well, I don't know. I've never been barely entertained. 
I'd say, yeah, you might not have been aware of it before because you were thinking about, if you were barely entertained, you were probably, uh, you say, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, so just kind of see how it goes. Give it a few tries. I really hope I make the show for two reasons. One, because I've been there and I know how it feels. But two, because I believe you deserve a good night's sleep and I want to help. So give it a few tries. See how it goes. I'm really glad you checked the show out. I appreciate your time. And I really work hard. I yearn and I strive because uh, I really want to help you fall asleep. And here's a couple of ways we're able to do this uh, for you twice a week. Thanks. All right, my Scoots here. I'm doing our month in review uh, on Sleep With Me Plus, uh, which is similar if you're still listening on Patreon, if you could think about moving over. But it's going to be similar to, to what uh, you, you would have seen there this month. And as far as the ad-free episodes, a lot of them are coming out in the um, ad-supported feed that you, you all listen to as well. Um, I got to find my, the right podcast app. Uh, so I was also buying time because, uh, okay, so like, uh, so on Sleep With Me Plus, one of the main differences is everything is separated out into uh, its own feeds. Uh, so there's four different podcasts. I'm going to start with the bonus episode podcast. So it just has bonus shows. Uh, and on March 2nd, um, a mayor tour, Welcome to Scooterville, a posty special edition super deluxe episode came out. These are really cool. They come out on uh, a couple Saturdays a month. And these are uh, something that's just really important, been really important to me. Um, ideally, down the road, we'll have budget to do more or somebody else even do a version two. But it's basically Chris Posty Posterson from Sounds Like an Ear- Ear- Earful. Uh, it takes an episode of Sleep With Me and reimagines it uh, in a sense. Uh, it, with, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, that's all the instructions for Chris. Hey, take an episode, reimagine it. But this year, Chris has been doing this for years. So in the bonus feed, it's years and years and years of this. As a matter of fact, in the bonus feed, I'm looking at there's 377 episodes. I think that's in the uh, Boar Besties feed. But uh, so right now in 2020... Four? Is that what year it is? Chris is doing um, this uh, Scooterville series. So definitely worth checking out if you're like, love sleeping me. You're looking for something like a little bit different with some sound design. You want to listen to it during the day. Or a lot of people, <laughs> when they start to support the show and they discover these, this is what they sleep to because everybody's a little bit different. Uh, what else we got in this feed? Uh, audio news, uh, Scooterville. Oh, contact. Uh, um, TNG Contact Part 2 came out since I think we last recorded this. And then a Fearless Flyer episode is about to come out. I think it may be this week, um, the February Fearless Flyer episode. Okay, then Boar Besties and Boar Friends can also get a feed with all intro and all night shows. So Thursday night, an all intro episode came out. A oh, weird, the all, uh, the, uh, the all night episode, um, I might have archived it, uh, but Big Farm in the Sky PI, huh, I guess uh, the, there's an all-night episode that's going to come out or should be in this feed that is, so, so doesn't seem to be there. So this is good. I'm checking this. This is live quality control. Maybe it's in another feed. I put it in the wrong feed. But yeah, um, not sure which one it is either. So I'll have to look into that. So that's interesting. Okay, then lo- then you get a, a, a feed with uh, ad-free full episodes. And, uh, so they don't have any, um, they have, uh, they don't have the, uh, s- supporter zone. They don't have the sponsor stuff. They don't have, um, the, uh, mystery bard music or the thank yous at the end, but they are something that, uh, um, it, cause you can listen to that in the ad supported version. Right. But, um, so let's see, episode 12, 20, 1245 came out Sunday. That was Great British Bake Off episode eight. Multiplex episode three came out, Hickory Dickory Farms. Uh, Ren Fair with Ray came out March 3rd, 1243, 1242, Bake Off, Episode 7 came out. February 25th, uh, Multiplex, Episode 2 came out, Julius J. Juice. Um, what else we got? Uh, uh, 1240, Apple Cider Redo, that was Trader Joe's a Shop and Cook episode. Big retraction in that one. You know, I it made, retracted my opinion on Apple Cider Donuts from Trader Joe's. So, yeah, and then the audio news. And then in story only, we had, uh, uh, C12, the same thing. Uh, everything comes out on Sleep With Me Plus. If you're, this is so cool. There's something we only have been able to do since we moved to a new platform. 
is we're able to put out the story only episodes and the all the 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 full episodes on the same day because they're in separate podcasts. We couldn't do that on the old platform because everything would just been too clogged up and it would just been too confusing for a large number of people. So now, yeah, story only, there's like a lot of story only fans and yeah, they got the same thing. Uh, Great British Bake Off 8, Multiplex 3, Ren Fair with Ray, Great British 7, Multiplex 2, Trader Joe's Shop and Cook, Apple Cider, uh, then, uh, dessert week, uh, great British bake off, whatever, whatever episode six, multiplex one, uh, wandering towers, board game unboxing. So yeah, that's everything that came out this week. Uh, I don't have my calendar in front of me. We've been working, I've been re- working really hard at the planning calendar and we got some exciting stuff coming up to sleep to. That's so exciting. You don't need to listen to it. Uh, what do we have? Multiplex seven I recorded yesterday. Started writing Multiplex eight today. Uh, these are these are a couple months away, but the Guild, the web series of the Guild, uh, we did the uh, part of season one of that. And we're definitely going to do season one of the that and probably season two maybe go on i don't know maybe maybe do season one and season two and take a break those will be coming out uh, late spring early summer um i came up with two new ideas uh for uh random tuesday episodes one with pillow like uh, other plush friends of pillow pad and then another one that um would be called the uh the marble vagabond and those were episode ideas that came out of intros. Uh, neither of those has been recorded, though. Those intros were recorded. The Marble Vagabond intro will be in b- part two of our coverage of the movie Bring It On. Uh, what else have we recorded? Uh, we did a, oh, I guess in the last month, uh, we did an episode called Wil- Wildy Wonk uh, uh, Interactive Experience, Immersive Adventure, which I was really happy with. And that's going to be a new genre of Sleep With Me style show of like... Uh, Poorly run immersive adv- immersive experiences like the one like that kind of what got a lot of press uh, and we got to do we got to work on the audio for something very similar but it was called the Wildy Wanga uh, experience uh, also not very not a very high budget experience but at least it had audio from Scoots or a narrator like Scoots so that'll come out late spring early summer. And then our our crossover series, uh, we got th- 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 three episodes done, episode two, three, and four from season one. Uh, so that'll be coming out this spring, too, in summer. So, yeah, that's everything right now. And thanks so much. Uh, if you're listening to this, a free, free feed, it'd be great. Uh, if you think about supporting the show, it's sleepingwithmepodcast.com slash plus. Uh, this enables us to do everything we do. And those of you that support the sponsors, we also really count on those of you that just spread the word about the show. So thank you for doing that. And, uh, that's it. Uh, good night, everybody.